Hello, and welcome to our online art lesson. Today we're going to talk about an artist named Georgia O'Keeffe. Born in 1887, Georgia O'Keeffe was an American artist who painted nature in a way that showed how it made her feel. She is best known for her paintings of flowers and desert landscapes. She played an important part in the development of modern art in America, and she was the first female painter to gain respect in New York's art world in the 1920s. Her unique and new way of painting nature, simplifying its shapes and forms, meant that she was called a pioneer. As well as the shapes of the landscape itself, O'Keeffe was fascinated by the bones and skulls she found in the desert landscapes near where she lived in New Mexico. She said, To me they are as beautiful as anything I know. The bones seem to cut sharply to the center of something that is keenly alive on the desert, even though it is vast and empty and untouchable. Today we are going to be creating our own work of art inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. So to create this piece of art, you're just going to need two or three things. The first thing you're definitely going to need is a piece of paper. The second thing you're going to need is something to draw with. I'm using a Sharpie so you can see it, but you don't have to use a Sharpie. You could use pencil, color pencil, crayon, marker, whatever you happen to have. And then lastly, if you choose to, you're going to need something to color with. I used watercolor paints in this one. You don't have to use watercolor paints. Whatever you have at home is perfectly fine. So to start off, on our clean sheet of paper, we're going to start with our cow's skull. It might look a little tricky, but bear with me. It's actually pretty easy. We're going to start with a line at the top, and then we're just going to create a super wiggly shape. like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. See how it goes down and then it gets a little bit smaller down here at the bottom. This will work perfect. So now that we have our shape of our cow's skull, we're going to add our horns. It's okay if they go off the page a little bit. Here's one horn and another horn. And now we're going to add <clears throat> the details on the face. So on one side, we're going to draw some shapes kind of like this. These are like the eye sockets. Now we're going to draw some long ones on the side. Two little dots down here at the bottom. These are the nostrils. And then we're going to draw a long shape that goes down the center. And then maybe a few little lines just to give it some detail. Now we're going to color in those eye sockets black. And then we're just going to add a little bit of detail on the horns. I'm going to draw four curved lines. When you make them a little bit curved like this, that gives it the illusion that the horns are actually round. So, here is our cow skull. Pretty easy, right? Now we're going to create the design behind the cow skull. This design actually does not come from a specific piece of Georgia O'Keeffe's art. This piece of, or this kind of art is very significant to the Southwest region where Georgia O'Keeffe worked. So, we're going to create a sort of blanket behind the cow skull. So you don't have to use a ruler or anything for this because blankets aren't always straight. We're just creating a sort of rectangle shape around our cow skull. And there we go. Now we're going to divide it up into sections. Again, you don't have to use a ruler. You could do skinny sections, wide sections, whatever you want to do. I'm just dividing it up into whatever sections look good to me. Some of them are bigger, some are smaller. It's whatever. It's fine. So now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to add some patterns to each of my sections. These patterns can be whatever you want them to be. I'm going to stick with sort of a southwest sort of theme. So a lot of triangles, diamonds, um, rounded shapes, 
whatever you want to do. And if you want to copy mine, you are definitely able to do that as well. So I finished up all of my patterns and now my final detail is I'm just going to add some little tassels down here at the bottom. So I'll do some little lines like this and then I'll add some little tassels down here at the bottom. And there we go. There is my finished Georgia O'Keeffe style piece of art. I drew my skull, I added my little details to my skull, I added our southwest blanket, and I added our patterns. So now the only thing that I would have to do is go in and add color. Here's my original. Again, I used watercolor paints. You do not have to use watercolor paints. You could use whatever you have, or you could just keep it black and white. That's okay too. Our main focus was on completing our cow skull and then adding our patterns. So, as always, when you finish your art, make sure you send me an email with a picture of your art. I would love to see it. But as always, happy creating. I can't wait to see your finished piece.